Hey there, Facebook Live. How's everybody doing this evening? I know it's kind of late. Uh, it's 10.54 here Eastern Standard Time, but I wanted to make sure that I came on and gave you some tips on how to stay healthy at your holiday cookouts. I know everybody's going to celebrate the 4th this weekend, and I want you to stay healthy and stay safe, but I want to give you some tips on how to eat healthy and how to stay healthy at your cookouts. So I am Dr. Nicole, I am your board certified family physician, and I help everyday people live their best lives by reviving their mind, spirits, and body through medicine and through education about their medical conditions. So I, um, my motto is do well and be well. That's why I'm Dr. Nicole D.O. I want you to do well and I want you to do better. Okay, so like I said, we're going to go over the six quick tips on how to stay healthy at your holiday cookouts, okay? So number one is eat before you go. So a lot of times um, the cookouts are later on in the day and so we haven't eaten all day. We get there and we're famished and so we eat everything we see. Well, if you eat before you go and you eat some healthy choices at home, then you'll be fuller and then you won't be able to eat as much at the cookout, okay? So number, step number one, eat before you go. Step number two is eat more of the vegetables and the fruits at the cookout. Um, your vegetables, you want to try and stick with your green leafy vegetables uh, if you can. So your green salads, um, if they have a cucumber salad, that would be a really good one. Maybe even bring a cucumber salad with you um, so that you can have some healthy choices there at the cookout. And then also stick with some fruits. Now some of your fruits are a little sweeter than others, and so if you have diabetes, even though fruit is good for you, you want to limit how much fruit you're getting. Uh, I'd say tell my patients that you should probably limit your fruit to a handful, um, what you can fit in the palm of your hand. Because things, fruits like watermelon and pineapple, although they're very tasty and very good, they do tend to have a higher sugar content, and so those can raise your sugars a little bit more than other kinds of fruits like um, apples and, and um, grapes. So it is a good thing, good idea to eat your fruits, but you just want to limit your, um, your amount if you are diabetic, okay? So eat more fruits and veggies at the cookout. Step number three, stick to your lean meats. And a lot of times at the cookout, we have a lot of meats that you can eat. People are grilling chicken, they're grilling burgers, they're grilling steaks sometime. Um, and as long as you're picking a uh, lean meat, um, and a smaller portion of a lean meat, that wouldn't be a bad choice. If you are gonna get something like a burger, then maybe wrapping it in some lettuce instead of a hamburger bun would be a healthier food um, choice. So making what we call an unwitch or a lettuce wrap, um, getting that meat and then putting it in the lettuce instead of the bread would be a healthier choice. And then, like I said, the sticking with your with your lean meat portions, portion controlled lean meats would be a healthier choice than binging on all the carbs that I'm sure will be there at the cookout as well. Uh, the next that brings me up to my next point is portion control. So sometimes we go to a cookout and there are no healthy choices. So what do you do then? Well, if you're gonna eat something that's unhealthy, best to eat less of whatever choices that you do have. So um, if you are going to have some carbs, try and limit the carbs uh, and the unhealthier choices to a smaller amount. So if you are going to eat that macaroni and cheese or that potato salad or that dirty rice, very small portions. I often encourage my patients to um, divide their plates in half and half of the plate you would need to do your green leafy vegetables and then a quarter of the plate your lean protein and then the other quarter of the plate would be your your starch and starches are uh, most of the foods that are white in nature so your breads your um, pasta your rice your potatoes um, and then things that are creamy you also want to kind of limit as well so things with potato um, with mayonnaise and like your potato salads you want to limit the amounts of those because um, that's some most of the time that's extra fat and then it's also extra carbs so you don't want to eat too much of those also I tell my patients if you're going to do seconds do seconds on the green leafy vegetables and maybe a smaller amount of the protein and leave the carbs to just one one serving on your plate okay 
Uh, that brings me to my next uh, tip, which is get some exercise in. If you're at the cookout, uh, I'm sure there's going to be some, some running around, maybe some um, three-legged races, maybe some wheelbarrow races, maybe a kickball game or a baseball game, a softball game, some volleyball, some swimming. But just do something where you can get out and get active and get healthy. I tell my patients a lot of times you need to do something where your heart rate is picking up. You should still be able to talk, but you should be out of breath, okay? So by increasing your cardio and doing a little exercise, that helps to burn off some of the calories of the things that we're going to be eating, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, my next step, it would be drink your water. Water, water, water. A lot of these cookouts are happening outdoors, of course, and so it's going to be hot. It's going to be uh, humid a lot of times, and you're going to get dehydrated a little bit faster. So by drinking your water, that's going to keep you hydrated. Um, and then water also helps to um, fulfill your hunger. So where you would be super duper hungry if you drink some water, that kind of lowers the amount of space that's in our stomachs and so that you can't fill it up with so much food. And so you're eating less because you're drinking more water. That and you want to stay hydrated so that your skin is nice and hydrated and so um, drinking water can help with things like blood pressure, your skin, um, your heart rate and it'll make you feel better too to stay hydrated. Okay, So real quick recap. How to stay healthy at the cookout for this holiday weekend. Number one, eat before you go. Number two, uh, eat your fruits and veggies and like I said limit your fruits if you're diabetic um, to the smaller portions but you can eat some fruits and veggies number three eat your lean meats a quick way to um, make that even healthier if it's like a hamburger is to wrap that in lettuce and so do a lettuce wrap um, number four would be uh, portion control so especially if you are going to be eating the things like the potato salad and the macaroni salad and the um, macaroni and cheese uh, the baked beans is limit your portions. Try and just keep that to one quarter of the plate and no seconds. I know that's hard, but no seconds. Um, the next one would be exercise. Get your exercise in um, at the cookout. Have fun. Exercise can be fun. And uh, a lot of times we look at exercise as something that's daunting. But if you make it fun, you will have fun and you will enjoy it. So exercise, exercise, and last but not least, drink your water, okay? Stay hydrated, keep your skin looking beautiful and dazzling, keep your um, heart rate under control, keep your blood pressure down, um, and drink your water so that you can be hydrated, okay? I want everyone to have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful 4th of July Independence Day and um, weekend this weekend. I want you to stay safe. If you are gonna be doing fireworks, please do them safely and uh, I want you to have fun. I want you to do well. I want you to be well, and I want you to do better, and I want you to be better, all right? Again, I am Dr. Nicole. I am your board-certified family physician, and I help everyday people live their best lives by reviving their mind, spirit, and body through medicine and education about their medical conditions. And again, I'm Dr. Nicole D.O. Please follow me on all social media. Um, that's Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, um, um, LinkedIn, D-R-N-I-C-O-L-E-D-O. -E That's Dr. Nicole D-O on all social media. And again, be safe, do well, be well this weekend at your holiday cookouts. All right. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.